make videos of what's in their grooming totes. But sometimes I wonder if that's really what's in their grooming tote or if they made it better than what they usually have because they're on YouTube. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com where I share different ideas with you for you to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. And I wanted to do kind of a different video for you today. This is going to be kind of fun. I want to show you what's in my grooming totes, but I'm just going to show you what's inside of each grooming tote that I have. I haven't preempted this. I haven't edited this in any way. We're just going to go through and see what's in my grooming totes and I'll show you what I use on my horses. It's going to be fun. So we're going to start with the purple one because that's in the front. So I have my homemade show sheet. I have a homemade sheepskin rub rag. Baby wipes because they work great for cleaning out noses and cleaning off eyes. Microfiber towel. Main comb, main brush. One of my personalized brushes for Frisbee. A brush that I don't usually ever use. Oh, that's my magic groomer. This is a scrub brush that has a sponge in it and I haven't had really good use of this. I didn't really like it so I think that's going to go out of my out of my grooming tote. Another sheepskin rub rag that I made. <laughs> my gloves. This is a nice brush. I like this. It has like raised edges. The center is a little bit lower. It's dirty. Can you see the dust? And then it's got a really nice backing on it. This is a Steuben brush. I really, really like this brush. Some vet wrap. A latch hook. <laughs> Some twine. That's going to throw away. Use baby wipes. This is my, a whisker trimmer that I got in one of the heart to horse boxes. I've used it on Frisbee's tail and on their whiskers too. This one's about dead so I think I'm going to toss that. An Equestra brush. This is a nice flick -a brush. Flick brush. I like this brush a lot. This is my favorite brush for making my horses shiny. This is the Haas Diva brush. It has sheepskin on the inside and bristles on the outside. This is a really, really nice brush. It's expensive. I think it was, was like 35 bucks for this version, but they do have cheaper ones. More, more dried out baby wipes. A little comb. That works good for manes. Subway knife. Those are good to have around. And that is it for this grooming tote. So we're going to put this one down and go on to the next one. So in the next grooming tote, I've got another Haas brush. I like the ones with the that you can put your hand through. I like that a lot. That's a nice brush, but I left it sitting like this in the grooming tote so it crunched my bristles down. So I need to make sure that I leave it sitting like this so it doesn't crimp the bristles. Have some moisturizing shine serum. Some dollar store baby powder that I got for Frisbee's white socks. Some wound spray. This stuff works pretty good. This is a staple for me. This is a rubber curry and I use this to knock the dirt out of my brushes when I'm grooming. 
like that. It works really good to keep the dust out of your brushes. And I've used this a lot. So the nubs are really worn down and it also works good to get dried mud off and it doesn't hurt them. Woo! Some rainmaker that needs to be clean. Look, I'm that's bad. Another Haas brush. This is the Lipizzaner brush. That's my husband got me that for Christmas. That's a really nice brush too. Some wall clipper oil. Very important if you have clippers for your horses. Some Twinkle Toes hoof polish. It has little stars. I like it. Another body brush with the strap for your hand. I like that because you can really flick it good when you're brushing them. And it has a fun little pattern on it. Can you see the pattern? Some petroleum jelly. I got that at the dollar store too. Some scissors for trimming. These are just scissors. I think I got these at Target for like $14. I use it for trimming manes and banging off their tails too on the bottom of their tails. My homemade shedding blade. A container of stall fly spray, which is basically white vinegar in here right now. A hoof knife that I've never used. Best wound gel in the entire world. This is Silvazorb gel. This, I use this where most people use Neosporin, I use this. A pulling comb that I use pretty much only for combing. I don't use it for technically pulling their manes. I don't like to pull their manes. Some citronella essential oil. Some tape and trash. So that's grooming tote number two. Empty. So the third and final grooming tote. This stuff is incredible. This is MTG, main tail groom. And this helps with dermatitis and different skin issues. It also is supposed to help your horse's mane and tail grow faster. You just put a couple of drops on this on the dock of their tail or right on the base of their mane. And you only have to do it like every other day and it helps to, it helps the hair to grow faster. I also have been using this on Ethan because he has like these sarcoid fungus wart things on his neck. So I put this on it every other day and it is helping those to shrink. I have some fly spray. That's really important right now. Oh, and my favorite, Pony Glam. This is Sassy Silver. I love Pony Glam. It's a hoof conditioner. It gives them some shine. Isn't that pretty? And it gives them some bling, but it's not a hoof polish, so it doesn't get hard and dry out their hooves. It keeps them soft. And right now, it's really runny because it's really warm outside. But this stuff is really fun. It comes in lots of different colors. Another rag. My most favorite mane and tail brush. This is Tail Tamer. I got this in one of the Heart to Horse boxes. I love this brush. It's so fun. Frisbee's brush that I made for him. Ethan's brush that I personalized for him. I use this brush a lot, a lot, because it's more stiff bristles and it really helps to get the dirt and dust off of them in fast way. That's Frisbee's brush. This is a really stiff brush and it's kind of like a mud brush. It really works, gets the mud off of them. I like this brush a lot. Well, hoof pick. Some fungus oil ointment. Again, that's for Ethan. This stuff didn't work that good but it helps to treat fungal and bacterial skin conditions on animals, horses. 
But I haven't had good success with this. A spray bottle. This is one of those fancy spray bottles. It sprays a long time so you don't have to keep squirting it. And this is for mainly long hair. So this is supposed to help your horse's mane and tail grow really fast and stay really strong. I really like this brush, but the nails came out, so I took the little hand strap off. But it's a really, really soft brush. It's dirty too. But I use that to get some shine on the ponies. A lovely sweat scraper. This thing is really nice because it has a rubber edge on it, so it really works good to get the excess water off after I bathe them. This is a brush that doesn't work the greatest. It's okay, but this was another one that was in the heart to horse box. I have a feather blade. This is a razor blade with a guard on it. I use that for thinning out manes. I also use it to cut my own bangs. This thing is pretty cool. More used wet wipes. Bit butter. This stuff is so nice. So what you do, you put bit butter on the sides of your horse's mouth and on the edges of the bit before you put it in his mouth. And it smells really good. It's made from beeswax, peppermint oil, mango fruit butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, vitamin E, and soybean oil. And what it does is it, it's kind of like chapstick for your horse's mouth and it helps to soften it and it actually helps them with the bit. I got this for Frisbee and I love it. So I use this all the time now when I ride. And this is some Shapely's High Gloss Finishing Spray. I'm not too crazy about it. It's supposed to make them look super shiny. I've actually had just as good of results of making them shiny with my homemade Shojin. And a pair of hands-on grooming gloves. These are like a curry. They have different patterns on them. So it's like it gives your horse a massage. You wear them like gloves. And say hello, ponies. So it's a curry comb on a glove. And I've heard they come in colors now, which is cool. And another sheepskin rubber I made. And that's it. So now I'm going to put everything back where it belongs. So that was it. That's what I have in my grooming totes. That's what I, these are what I take out when I'm going out to play with my horses. I probably don't need to take all three of them. I could probably downsize just into one, but if I just grab any of them, I'm good to go. I seem to collect horse brushes and stuff. So I like having three. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.